Hey, Houston, just to tag up with you, we saw ourselves complete through the MPS power down, just waiting on your go when the time comes. Okay, uh, we are ready for MPS power down when uh, on time, and uh, if you could check the MPS pneumatic helium ISO to GPC, that should get them. Okay, pneumatic, uh, pneumatic helium ISO to GPC, thanks for the check. As we watch the replays of Atlantis's final launch, Capcom Barry Wilmore talking to Commander Chris Ferguson on board Atlantis. The uh, main propulsion system has been shut down. The uh, external tank umbilical doors uh, have closed. The auxiliary power units have been shut down. Everything going well. Uh, less than 22 minutes following Atlantis's launch. The crew on board Atlantis uh, will be busy over the course of the next uh, several hours uh, setting up shop on board uh, the orbiter, activating uh, payload buses, breaking out laptop computers, preparing for the opening of the payload bay doors, after which uh, the ASCEND team of flight controllers will uh, assess all of Atlantis' systems uh, for a go for on-orbit operations. A slightly longer workday than usual for the crew of Atlantis since there are only four crew members on board instead of the usual six or seven. Later in the day, the checkout of the shuttle's robotic arm, along with uh, other activities preparatory to uh, the inspection that will take place of Atlantis's thermal protection system tomorrow, standard customary operations for the second day of any shuttle flight. Houston Atlantis, uh, MPS power down is complete, and with that, we would like to thank the uh, Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne team and the SSME team for their uh, flawless performance over this 30-year uh, shuttle flight history. 135 flights, 
It's a 7,000 pound engine that puts out one half million pounds of thrust and they pitch the equivalent of a perfect game every flight. From everyone who's ridden on these rockets, we thank you. Uh, we concur with that assessment, uh, Atlantis, uh, good and pertinent and uh, true words. We're putting ET umbilical door closure in work, which... Mechanical systems officer here in Mission Control watching over the closing of the external tank umbilical doors. Words of compliment from pilot Doug Hurley uh, for all of the uh, propulsion system engineers uh, who presided over 135 flights of the space shuttle and the performance of space shuttle main engines, the external fuel tank, the solid rocket boosters that propelled these vehicles and hundreds of humans to orbit. The external tank umbilical doors now closed and latched, confirmed by the mechanical systems officer here in Mission Control. Atlantis uh, soon to maneuver into the correct orientation for the firing of the orbital maneuvering system engines. Uh, about nine minutes from now, the Ohms 2 burn that will uh, help to uh, refine Atlantis's altitude as it uh, now begins its trek to catch up to and dock with the International Space Station on Sunday. Hey, Houston, we're ready for the maneuver if you are. Hey, Founder Blanis, we are ready. Atlantis now beginning to maneuver into the uh, correct orientation for the uh, firing of the orbital maneuvering system engines seven and a half minutes from now. This will be a firing of both orbital maneuvering system engines at the rear of the shuttle that uh, flank uh, the vertical tail fin. The uh, firing uh, of this Ohms 2 burn, as it is called, about one minute, four seconds in duration.